Hey everyone. Today we talked about yellow and on my yellow shirt it says the word resilient. Well, that's kind of a big word. What do you think it means to be resilient? I'll tell you. It means that you can recover from a difficult condition or situation. It means that you can get back up, dust off your pants, and try again. It means that you are strong when you are resilient. It means that you never ever give up. You get back up, you try again. You try and try and try again. You are flexible. That means that if something has to change, you can make it work, you'll change it. And you'll bounce back like a ball. You know when you bounce a rubber ball or a bouncy ball, it bounces right back? Well, that's kind of like resiliency. When you are resilient, you get back up, you bounce back to the way you were, or maybe better. And guess what? You can be resilient in all different types of situations. You could be resilient by when you are out in a sport and you're playing a sport and maybe you, you didn't make the touchdown like you were hoping, but you thought next time I can try again and maybe it'll happen. And the more and more you try and never give up, the better chances you have of actually achieving what you want. Like the engine that could. He said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And he was having a hard time pulling all of the train carts. Here is a poster. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. A little engine that could. You guys are just like the little engine. Because in our classroom, in real life and virtual life, we believe in the power of yet, because we're resilient. The power of yet, that just means that you have the superpower to not give up because you know that eventually you can do whatever you're trying to do. The power of yet. Right now, I can't do what I'm trying to do yet, but eventually I will. That's the power of the word yet. It means not right this second, but you will. It's being resilient. It's being optimistic. It's being uh, amazing you. It's the best you can be when you are resilient because you will never ever let anyone or anything stop you from what you want to accomplish or do. You can also be resilient when you're not feeling well. Uh, if you remember when I hurt my ankle, well, I have. Now I'm out of the big boot and I'm into a smaller little like tight kind of cast that holds my ankle in place. And you know, a long time ago, I didn't feel resilient when this would happen because it happens a lot. You'll see Mrs. Binder is like Humpty Dumpty. She falls and she needs help getting back together, but she's resilient and she'll get back up. So like I can be resilient, you can be resilient. Maybe you aren't feeling well and you caught the flu or maybe your body's just really tired. But you know what? Being resilient means today, maybe not yet. I, I'm not ready yet to go play. But when I rest and I am resilient, I get back up the next day. Hey, maybe I can do what I want because my body will feel better because I am resilient, right? It also means to shake it off, shake it off. Like Taylor Swift says, stings. You can say, you know what? I might have fall in the last time that I tried to throw a basketball, or I might have messed up my name when I was writing it. But I know, I think, I'm using the power of yet, but I can do it if I just try again. That is being resilient. So my resilient kindergarten friends, I want you to remember that word, lock it in your brain, and like think about it. Notice when you're resilient, because guess what? You are.